<laughs> no, let her roll. Yeah, let her roll. Don't, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Again, Welcome to now. Tabletop Takeovers. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for joining us on another Tabletop Takeovers. Uh, we are here with John Cohn with his game Grindhouse. Uh, we're going to show this off real quick, but before we do, kind of introduce everybody on the panel right now that's going to be playing. Okay. I'm TD. I'm Frankie. I'm John. I'm Jordan. And I'm Dave. And uh, John, I'm going to let you take it away. It's your game. Sure. So, yeah, this is a game I designed. It's called Grindhouse. Uh, it's going to be coming to retail early next year. It's shipping to backers right now from a successful Kickstarter, uh, Kickstarter that happened last November. Um, in this game, it's Grindhouse. So what happened is we're all playing as characters who are desperately in need of money. And I mean a lot of money. Like $10 million amount of money. Uh, everyone's had a different reason for why. For instance, my character, uh, she really wanted the latest phone. And she had no money, so she sold her soul for a new phone, but then broke it immediately. And now she's trying to buy her soul back, and it's going to cost $10 million. <laughs> or, for instance, we've got Evan over here, who has 12 cats, and they're all sick! And they all need the same surgery, which is very expensive. <laughs> What we're going to play today is the Krampus expansion. So this is the Christmas expansion that, thanks to the stretch goals from the Kickstarter, are going to be boxed in every retail copy of the game. Um, so instead of being uh, going through normal, horrifying, terrible rooms, they're going to be Christmas-themed, horrible, terrifying <laughs> rooms in which survival may literally cost us an arm and a leg. <laughs> so um, we've already set up the game a little bit. Everybody in the beginning of the game gets a persona. This is a unique character trait that will uh, kind of dictate how you win the game. It could mean you want to help everybody, like the doctor. It could mean you want to hurt everybody, like the psychopath. But in our instance, we're going to be playing as people like Santa Claus or Frosty the Snowman, who starts the game with no legs. That's right, he will thumpity thump 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 his way through the entire five rooms <laughs> of Grindhouse. John's killing it. Love it. Love so, it. Um, we also have items, each of us. Um, items can be used at any time during the game. Santa Claus being the man with the bag, he actually got to choose the items to pass out to us. Normally they'd be randomly dealt out. So for instance, Jeremy here, he's got a wrapping paper that wrapping will negate paper. any wound that happens to the limb he chose. Now he chose a leg. I usually like to choose an arm because then I call it my armor. Uh, I was born with the puns. The, I didn't choose the pun life. The pun life chose me. <laughs> so we're going to jump right into the game and we're going to start with the first room, which is the <laughs> toy room. I'm going to go ahead and read them. Uh, so we're going to read some uh, flavor text, and then we're going to have some stuff to do. <clears throat> Your stomach groans as the heavenly smell of pizza wafts around you. You look around and discover that you're in the entryway to a beautifully decorated and eerily familiar home. You hear a child's voice from the top of a nearby <laughs> staircase ring out, Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. <laughs> You look to see a small blonde boy in a woolly red sweater. He gives you a mischievous smile, then runs down a, a hallway. Each survivor must roll one die right now. So we're all going to roll a die. Okay. So first I'm going to ask, did anybody roll a one? Uh, yeah. You, you rolled a one. Well, <laughs> as you try to follow the boy up the stairs, you're suddenly smashed in the face by a paint can attached to a rope. Take Whoa. one head wound. What was so, I thinking? <laughs> one thing to note, uh, you can lose your arms, you can lose your legs in this game. In fact, one of the personas is that your lifelong dream is to be a stump rolling through the world without hesitation. But if your head or your body gets destroyed, you are dead. But that doesn't mean the game is over. You're a ghost. Um, all right, moving on. Do we have a two anywhere? You got a two. I also got a two. Well, you got a two as well. So what happens if you roll a, roll a two is... You run to the stairs, however, you fail to notice a scattering of toy cars on the ground and you take a tumble. Suffer one head wound. So, uh, we also each got a head wound. This is what happens when you roll poorly in this game. <laughs> Did anybody roll a three? Nope. Four? Five? Five. Five, okay. Five Jeremy, okay. <laughs> You make it to the top of the stairs unscathed. Uh, unfortunately, the boy is lying in wait, armed with a BB gun. He fires it and shoots you right in the groin. Take one torso wound. What? Did anybody roll a six? Yes. 
Six? No. All right, here's what happens if you roll a six. You reach the top of the stairs and follow the child around a corner. A plastic sheet painted in glue clings to your face. Just as you pull it off, hundreds of feathers descend upon you. <laughs> While you're unharmed, you now look like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> We've now reached the end of the room, and at the end of the room, if you have a certain persona or items, you can use them to your benefit. For instance, I'm playing as Bucky the Elf. Bucky the Elf, he's a little bit of a kleptomaniac. I can roll a die and try to gain items. I didn't get it. So, uh, it didn't happen for me, but you know what? I do have an item. It's a candy cane. I can use it to either heal one damage or deal one damage. I'm feeling generous, so I'm going to just heal my head wound and get me back to unharmed. <laughs> Would anybody else like to play a card? I'll do the same. I have mistletoe, which will allow me to heal one wound for me, uh, or another survivor. No, and another survivor. And another survivor. Because it's survivor. mistletoe, it's a two-person thing. you got to love everybody with a mistletoe. <laughs> so who would you like to also heal uh, with the mistletoe? Uh, Jeremy, I'll, I'll help you out there. Oh, Jeremy, he's going to wow. heal his torso wound. That helps will, him move along in this game. This. All right, so next we're going to go to the rooftop. All right. Let's see what ho-ho happens next. <laughs> you step into the frosty air and find yourselves on the roof of a house. Connected to it is some sort of an ice luge. A rickety sleigh sits ready to be pushed down the slide. You peer inside of the two-person cab of the sled and notice it's only held together by a collection of rusty, jagged bolts and nails, and the wood panels are soft and rotted. <laughs> Across the back of the sled, you're able to make out the words sleigh ride, of course, spelled S-L-A-Y. Uh, two survivors must volunteer to go on the sleigh ride. So we're going to need two people to volunteer to hop into this sleigh and uh, ride it wherever it takes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not risking my head. You're not really going to risk your head. I will. Jeremy, you're feeling I'll good. I'll volunteer All right, tribute. great. And yeah. <laughs> Jordan's going to do it too. Okay, so uh, you sit down on the bench of the sleigh and it creaks under your weight. You think back to happier times when you'd go sledding with your friends down the biggest hill you could find. If you survive tonight, you're never going sledding again. <laughs> the survivors must roll for three rounds as they try to survive the turns. They're going to have to be leaning into the turns together. Um, if both rolls are even or both rolls are odd, they suffer no wounds, meaning they're in sync with each other. But if not, they each suffer one limb wound. So we're going to have you each roll. You're going to be hoping for either both evens or both right, odds. You're going to do this three times. Three, all right, two, Let's see. One. We've got a one and a three. Okay. Odd. There you go. So right. they both lean left. All right. <laughs> now let's see. They've zigged. Now let's see if they can zag. Roll again. Three. Five. Uh, four. Ooh, okay, we're two. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, four and five. Ooh, uh, that's no good. Okay, okay. each of you are going to have to uh, take one limb wound. So I'm going to use my wrapping paper. <laughs> great. <laughs> right he now. zigged. He zagged. But we're okay because we've got <laughs> one little chance left. All right. Let's roll one more time. Six. And six. Six. Wow, not only was it both even, but it was the same number. I wish there was some sort of a bonus, but there's not. Uh, <laughs> once the sleigh reaches the ground, the survivors are able to retrieve the ladder to let the rest down. How generous of you guys. Not leaving us on the roof? Not leaving us hanging? That's fantastic. We're at the end of the room. If anyone would like to do anything, they may. Nope. No, All right. No. Let's no. go into the gift room. You step into a large closet. You seem confused at first, until you realize the clothes inside are made up entirely of hideous Christmas sweaters. Each survivor must choose an ugly Christmas sweater by selecting a number on their die. You can choose a one. That is a sweater depicting a fully dissected reindeer. You can choose two. That's a sweater featuring a mountain of coal carved to look like a skull. Or three, you put on a sweater with an elf tied to a spit Roasting over an open fire. <laughs> mm. I hope nothing happens to his chestnuts. Hey <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to choose my number. <laughs> I wish I could say that, but I planned that one. That was on the fly. <laughs> Alright, so let's each choose a number. Okay, has everyone chosen, secretly chosen their number? And one. We, and we, oh, okay. One, two, or three. So one, two, or three. One is the reindeer. Two is the coal skull. Three is the elf. All right, on the count of three, we're all going to reveal. Okay, who chose one? I did. I did. Okay, you guys each chose one. So what happens is you're going to take 
uh, equal wounds to the number of wounds he has. And because he started with no legs as Frosty, <laughs> that means you mirror it so you have no legs now. No legs. Oh, no. And your head is wounded. Oh, wow. Okay. So nothing else but nothing else. But nothing else to you because we're going to match up to the person who has the most wounds. Who chose number two? Just me. All right. Well, I'm looking good then. All right. Number three. Who chose number three? I, yep, yep. 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 Did you choose? I chose one. Oh, you chose one, right. So I take oh, a you chose head okay, wounds. Okay, so good. So you guys each got three, so yeah, you're going to match the most damage, which just, mean, just means you're going to take one head wound. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, yeah. So I chose a two, and I merely have to live with the shame of wearing an ugly sweater. Next, we're going to go to the toy room. I think we're going to make it through this. All right. Uh, oh, did you want to do something at the end of the room? You know what? Actually, yes. Okay, great. What are you going to do? Uh, okay, so... Who are you? I am Mrs. Claus. Ooh, okay, so Mrs. Claus, here's the story behind Mrs. Claus, because she's not nice like the rest of us. She's been naughty. Mrs. Claus married Mr. Claus, a.k.a. Santa, but then discovered, after 600 years, there's no such thing as divorce in the North Pole. The only way she can get out of this life of perpetual Christmas hell is by slaughtering everyone in her vicinity. Yep. So... Because you didn't take any wounds for That's that, true. I'm going to have you match the wounds that were taken by uh, by the number one group. Great, so I'm going to lose both my legs and take one head wound. <laughs> <laughs> we're all thumpity thump thump thumping our way Try through. Try to give us a lead here. All you know, right. Keep yeah. us ahead. Yeah. Yeah, so, my goal is the opposite of your goal. Yes, yes, he's Santa Claus. <laughs> he's already announced Santa Claus gets points at the end of the game for every other surviving player. Santa just wants everybody to be happy. Yeah. All right, now we're going right. to go to the toy room. A lightning bolt of fear strikes you as you immediately <laughs> understand what's going to happen in this room. That's never a good sign. Mm -hmm. A row of huge nutcrackers stand imposingly tall across the room. <clears throat> Their open wooden mouths are covered in dried blood stains and what appear to be shards of bone and hair. Embedded in one, you can clearly see a tooth. Krampus emerges from behind the nutcrackers and gestures to each place uh, to, for you to each place your heads inside the large crushing jaws of the wooden soldiers. Krampus gleefully offers you this challenge. <laughs> you might all die. <laughs> Come on! Don't be shy, boys and girls. Tonight we're going to test your Christmas spirit. Ha ha ha! That's right, he doesn't say ho ho ho. He's Krampus. <laughs> Starting with the first player, that's me, I'm reading the cards, and going clockwise around the room, each survivor must name one of Santa's reindeer until all nine are named. On each survivor's turn, the rest of the players may count down from five aloud to add some extra pressure. If a survivor is unable to successfully name a reindeer in that time or repeats a reindeer's name, the jaw of their nutcracker slams shut, dealing them two head wounds. If the survivors are able to name all nine reindeer without any mistakes, no one suffers any injuries. So I will start. Dasher. Uh, Blitzen. Prancer. Rudolph. Dancer. Comet. Cupid. Uh, Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> so... You take two head wounds, which Ooh. means I am gone. You are dead. Oh, dear. So he was playing as Rudolph the Red-Nosed Ranger, who um, mm. normally if your torso gets destroyed, you die. Rudolph uh, only dies if his head is destroyed, which coincidentally is exactly what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> so now he gets to um, have his uh, white text, which is the ghost text, which means that he can still possibly win the game, but he's got slightly different goals. Why don't you read us what happens in your white text right now? Once per game, when a survivor would die from a head wound, you may save their, you may use your shiny ghost nose to save them. If you save a survivor in this way, you win the game too. Great. So if he's able to save somebody by uh, healing their head wounds, then he wins as well. Is that for one damage? It's only one time okay. if someone would Does die. Does that person have to hit. win for him to win? No, they just have to Jesus. be saved by him. Interesting. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So oh, that's pretty lenient. Considering everybody has a head wound right now. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> the chances are pretty good. <laughs> the are pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially as we move into the final room. In the game, the final room is always a little bit more uh, involved, and it's a little bit more dangerous. And so this is going to be against you know the big man, the head honcho, the connection, Krampus himself. So I will read that card now. The smell of sulfur sizzles in your nose as you step into a perverse version of Santa's workshop. 
A throne sits atop a mountain of coal, and perched in the red velvet chair is none other than the anti-Santa himself, Krampus. His cloven-hoofed feet give way to a body covered in knotted black fur. His demonic face is long and spiteful, with huge curled horns sprouting from his hideous forehead. Welcome to my workshop, Krampus hisses. It's time to find out who's been naughty and who's been nice. He grins. Whoa, that was terrifying. He grins, revealing row after row of razor-sharp fangs. With an effortless leap, he flies from his seat and lands right in front of you. The smell of brimstone and rotting flesh radiates off his body, causing you to stagger back as you gasp for air. Krampus pounds his birch staff on the ground, causing the dirt floor to crack beneath you. Each survivor must try to withstand a beating by Krampus. One player, preferably a ghost, rolls a die for the table. That is the number of beatings the survivors must endure. Each survivor then rolls a die once for each beating they receive. Don't roll a six, please. Two. That's pretty uh, manageable, actually. So we're going to each roll two times, and each time we roll, we're going to suffer whatever uh, beatings is in accordance with the rules here. So let's all roll a die now. Okay, did anybody roll a one? Yes. You rolled a one. This is going to be good news for you. You're bludgeoned to death by in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Take two head wounds. Oh. I'm going to save him. So he's going to save you. He's going to stop you from receiving those oh, wounds. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so you are, you are safe. And JoJo wins. <laughs> he, he does. He's already now won. Now, other people can win, too. This is a game where multiple winners can happen because we're feeling the Christmas spirit. Uh, who rolled a, either a two or a three? I did. Two and a three? Okay, great. You're beaten thoroughly. <laughs> Take two wounds of your choice. Okay. Oh, so many to spare. Uh, gonna do an arm and a leg. Great. S- spread it out over the body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, who rolled a four or a five? I did. That would be all of us over here. Uh, you're able to absorb some of the blow. Take one limb wound. Okay. All right. And did anybody roll a six? Nope. Oh, I lost my phone. Then... Oh, you did lose your phone. <laughs> <laughs> all that work selling your soul. All right. <laughs> now we're going to roll one more time uh, because we were supposed to take two beatings. Three. All right. Any ones? Twos or threes? Threes. Okay, so you're beaten thoroughly. Take two wounds of your choice. You're going to straight up, you know, like, sever an arm here. Oh, no, you're going to do the body. Okay. Bold move, Cotton. <laughs> Let's see if it pays off. Um, so, wait, hold on. Is this, is this the end of the room? Not quite yet, because we still have to do four or fives. Fours or fives. I, um, I rolled a four, which means that I'm going to yep. take one limb wound. Nobody else rolled a four or five? Did anyone roll? Here, yeah. Oh, you got it? Okay, you've got your wound in. Yeah. And then did anyone roll a six? Nope, no luck on there. So... We're now at the end of the game. Um, we're going to count together our points, so a healthy body part scores you two points, an injured body point scores you one point, and a severed body part scores you zero points. And of course, we're also going to add in any bonuses we may have from our persona. So let's tally together our scores right now. I get two, three, four, five points as Bucky the Elf. I don't think I won. All right, so I'm at eight. You're at eight. Yeah. <laughs> did you happen to have the menorah item by any chance? No. Okay. No, I did not. So, question. Did. You did. <laughs> so, the menorah, if you happen to end the game with exactly eight points, the menorah lets you multiply that score by eight. That's, uh, <laughs> then I'll just, yeah. I'll just heal. And I also have uh, an ability where my injured body parts are with zero. Oh, so yes, because you're the gingerbread I'm man. I'm the gingerbread man, but uh, otherwise my, other, my uninjured body parts are with four. Gotcha. So I have eight, which works with the menorah. So he has <laughs> a whopping okay. 64 points. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say I don't think anybody else yes. has 64 <laughs> points. What, what did you get? Wow. I got nine for my body parts, but since I'm Santa Claus, plus two points for every other player that survives. So two, oh, four, man. six, eight. I, I'm done. Oh, eight. So you got another eight points. Excellent, 17. That which is nice. which is less than 64. Last <laughs> <laughs> Still but impressive, a, but yeah. Pretty healthy. So uh, yeah. you are the winner of this game, but you are also the winner of this hey. game. Nice. I allowed that to happen. Nicely done, yeah. Uh, so we just played the Krampus expansion. It comes with every core game. Um, there are also a two-pack expansion of a carnival, which will add... Uh, 
carnival tickets to the game, and also you're going to be chased through every room by a chainsaw-wielding maniac clown named Ginger Snaps. Wow. Um, <laughs> there's also an expansion that is the Cthulhu expansion, which oh, every room um, has oh, an H.P. Yeah. Lovecraft theme, minus the racism. And also, uh, everyone will be getting increasingly more and more insane <laughs> as the game goes on. <laughs> so uh, it's shipping to backers right now from the Kickstarter, and it will be available in retail uh, sometime this January. Perfect. Yeah. That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> I hope Thank you guys you. had a good yeah, time. Thanks for, uh, thanks for sharing this game. I... This is more wacky than the first time we played it. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, the with, Krampus one is, yeah, uh, is really out the, there. Yeah, uh, and kind of the, the, the personas I, I like a lot. They're pretty good. <laughs> Someone got really lucky over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's happened, like, twice. Oh, okay. <laughs> as far as I'm like, yeah, yeah, my play test. <laughs> sure. Sure, well, thanks, awesome. guys, for playing. Yeah, thanks for joining us again. Thank you so much, John, for uh, coming out and sharing sharing your games with us. Yeah, we always have here. a good time with that. Um, <laughs> Want to sign off real quick? I'm Dave. Close us out. I'm Jordan. I'm John. I'm Frankie. I'm Jeremy with D20 Adventure Realm. Special guest. I'm TD. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. And uh, check us out next time. Make sure you're like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff on the Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. And make sure you don't get a visit from Krampus this yeah, year. Yeah, look out for Krampus. <laughs> <laughs> so grab some friends. Grab some games. Play some games. Something like that. And play some games. <laughs> there you go. We'll get Frankie up to speed soon enough. <laughs> Take it easy. Hey, thanks for watching us play Grindhouse, the Krampus expansion. Uh, the game should be out early next year in stores, so you can pick it up then. Uh, as always, be sure to like and subscribe. And until then, have a scary Christmas.